All right, after you've installed the software to convert the DM USB commands into MIDI, to set up the FPC with sounds, we'll load a FPC. Once that's set up, you see this note assignment here. It shows up up here as pad note. What you can do is click and hold and drag all the way down until you see LRN, which stands for learn. And then you just press a button on your controller. So now this affects that note. You can do that to as many of these as you want. Set up a couple symbols here. And basically, you just follow that for all the instruments you want. To set up the scratcher, it's a little bit more tedious. You have to go into your DM to MIDI program, click on the flywheels to make it work like a real turntable. Set the left ring and the right ring to minimum 0, maximum 127. Tell it to transmit event when the scratch ring is released, I set it on on 63, which is about halfway when the controller drops out. And I set it for 2 milliseconds, which stops it if it's not spinning. After you've done that, you can go into your effects track, put on a scratcher. We're going to drag a sample in here. So now that we've got that, you can right click on the transport controls, say link to controller, and then just move your scratcher. So now I'm controlling that with my scratcher. You can also set up hold buttons, which are handy. I normally use the A button on here. You can do that the same way you set up a controller for the scratcher link to controller, press the button. So now I've got hold, which I can hold, and mute, which will just cut it like a cut button would do. Hope that helps. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. I'll be here. Good luck.